was a very emotional game. Uh, obviously, the win against Duke at home, and uh, you know, <laughs> a lot on the floor there. And uh, I'm sure, he would have liked to have slid over a few points to the Notre Dame game, but uh, they need that good, consistent effort out of him. Possession belongs to the Hokies. And Barry turns it over, trying to find Kidd inside, stolen by Efton Green. Salas looking for his offense early and finds it. On the drive, Padula finds Kidd. He's got all five for the Hokies. These two teams met late December. It's all Deacons. All five starters, double figures, including Boopy Miller as Wake Forest has begun this one, three of four from deep. And it's a cheap foul to pick up. Michael Cote, first hockey off the bench, Reed to the basket. Four of the five starters have scored for Wake. Miller lost it. Cote falling backwards to keep it alive for Virginia Tech. Uh, Boopy Miller trying to do too much off the dribble. Padula hits for three. Collins, nice pass, Poteet, and one. This game, and that's a nice, I uh, love the bounce pass right there. No, he. Hildred, step back three. That was pretty. This a legal screen on Wake, going back to Tech. Just a step back and uh, just he made two threes at Notre Dame. That was the first time he made multiple threes in the game since early January. And Jay Collins, also a guy who's had his struggles from the IBR. You're right on line with that. That was good from the time he let it go. And this is the part of the game. Couture takes a lot of pressure off there. to the basket. Contact. Bucket. Count it for Cameron Hildreth. Guard this guy. Well, when you got to sit on his right hand, but he has got some strength in his own right. There's Booby Miller finding space in the lane. They go to score 22 points the entire second half on Tuesday against Notre Dame. Vastly exceeding that today. Hefton Reed, the third. Link got cooled off to 70% from after that last possession, there's the 15 turnover. Padula, the seal, and the score. The Tucker Center and NC State, others haven't gone in. Hunter Couture has got 12, and the Hokies are within seven. Much better defensive presence by Virginia Tech, covered out on shooters, very active. Barron for two. Efton Reed on the dive, throws it down. Yeah, look, and he just, uh, you know, Reed is just setting the screen. They do that double screen up top, and then they're all... Hokies led 5-3, to three, have not led since it was 7-6 until right now. And here we go again on the ACC road. Hokies 5 of 8 here in the second half. Hunter Couture over Empty Reed for 3. Oh, it's almost the same to the point where if you're those guys, let a basket go inside rather than even hit it close. Couture, 3 more. Aaron lost his dribble, pass deflected and stolen. Deep into transition, Boopy to the bucket. Couture, last pass. Pote throws it down. I don't think there was any doubt he was going to finish on that play. He thought he let one get away in the prior possession. 29 to 12 in the second half. Efton Reed flips it in. It would not be good for their tournament hopes. Lose another one after the setback in South Bend. Kid counted in the foul. Couture. Hildreth trying his butt off and yet Couture still getting free. Collins to Kid. Boom! What's the foul? No, not the second half, but uh, I've seen some great interior passing. Steve Forbes peaks. Away, Paduna to the basket. A guy like 
Paul gets on that kind of run can beat you. I mean, he, he can flat out beat you. And then he's closing in on his career high. And Jay Collins helps the cause for the Hokies as well. And terrific in this game going into the rim. That's his strength. He's got the reach. Five second chance points in the game for Wake Forest. Coliseum remains an intimidating destination for any visitor. That's the exclamation point from the big man. Fredrickson makes the second three of the second half for Wake Forest, but too little, too late. The Deacons fall to two and eight on the road in ACC play. And the Hokies improved to 13 and two inside the castle this season.